Hey, Mr. Hey, Yuga. Beautiful. I'll introduce you to the captain. Nice. Yes. Yeah, good to see you. Thanks for doing it. Thanks for doing it. Yeah. Need some new crew for you, Russ. Yeah, yeah. Excellent, yeah. He needs a life jacket. <laughs> yeah, we've got some life Anyone jackets here. for everyone. We'll get you all kids about it. Yeah. Let's do it. Welcome to Paul Harbour. It's the second largest natural harbour in the world, actually, after Sydney. What we're going to do today is we're going to go out, we're going to go through the North Channel, and we're going to have a look around at um, Evening Hill and towards Sandbanks. That's great. Let's okay. do it. So we begin this interview in Tyler Adams' country. You're somewhere around here, Tyler, are you? Yeah, right now I'm staying on Sandbanks, actually. Somewhere in the midst of all these, these beautiful houses over here. And it's another nice spot for you, Justin, in your career already. What, Rome, Valencia, Nice. Bournemouth. Bournemouth now. Yes. <laughs> Got some pretty nice places that I've already seen, so uh, very happy. Yeah? Blessed. You are blessed. What do you make of Bournemouth so far? Beautiful, especially when the sun is out like this. and. Uh, no, very, very beautiful, yeah. And Alex, you're no stranger to these waters, are you? I mean, not quite like this, but the old ferry across from Guernsey, <laughs> where you're from, every now and again. You must have been as a kid. I know, yeah, These two are laughing at you, by the way. Right? <laughs> this guy is yeah. Tyler. He's, he's always Don't let him knock you out of your stride. Yeah, Guernsey, cool. <laughs> um, nah, yeah, I just grew up around sea, really. There's beaches everywhere in Guernsey, so, yeah, I'm no stranger. Although I, I hate the sea, so I'm never... I will never be going in the sea, around there. But, you know, it's nice to... To be in and around it reminds me of home. When you're looking for a new club, how much is lifestyle part of it? You know, restaurants, it's, it's the sunshine, a, it's stuff a, it's like a big that. part. It's a big part, to be fair. But uh, yeah, especially the football is the main part. Like for me, it doesn't matter where, yeah, how it would look where I live, you know. But it's nice that it's Bournemouth now, or it's Rome, or it's Valencia. It's all all beautiful, you know. So. Uh, I have to say that I'm lucky with that, but yeah, for me, football is number one, and then if this, if this comes with it, it's, 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 it's nice. Harry Redknapp's old house behind you, by the way, guys, I believe. The old sort of tube one. one. That one? The, yeah, the brown one. one further up, yeah. That's nice. <coughs> right, not, that too, looks... not too shabby, is it? <laughs> yeah, very nice. Tyler, what, what about for you? Like, as I say, we're looking at all these other you know, the, the basics of it, mm -hmm. but somewhere where you can walk the dog, bits like that. Are these all things you have to factor in where when your life's in flux and you don't know where you're going to end up? Yeah, absolutely. It's an added bonus for sure. I mean, I think having security in football is not really, there's no such thing. You can be on the move every single year of your career. Um, you know, the, the best situation is being able to live in a place like this and enjoy it um, because at the end of the day, when you're enjoying your lifestyle, you're enjoying your football. But what are the other things you have to think about? Presumably your, your family, mm -hmm. whether they're going to be happy somewhere? Yeah, I mean, the culture of, of everything, right? I mean, you know, some would say that living abroad is, is not the easiest thing. You know, for me, I've lived abroad now for almost six or seven years. Um, you know, living in Germany was a great opportunity for me in my life to learn a new culture and then coming into to Leeds and into the UK, um, I found it a lot easier to live obviously with the language and just the people are a yeah. lot more like Americans um, so there's a lot of cultural aspects that you have to put into to the to the equation um, but yeah I mean your family is obviously the most important thing for me my girlfriend enjoys it here and when you can see a smile on her face you know every day whether it's on the beach walking the dog whatever it is um, that's an added bonus what about yeah. you Alex you're, you're on your own here a bit aren't you I think yeah completely on my own. all my family's back home um, I've just got no one really to, to go to I'm living on my own I've got a you know, look after myself, cook for myself. Um, so when I, we can go off and, you know, go for a coffee, go for food, I think that's something that's, that's really important for me throughout the season. You said cook for yourself. What's your signature dish? If we, if we got invited round to Shea, Scott, what would we, what would be on the menu? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll do oh, like no, a, no, 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 I'll do <laughs> a little Fish and chips. teriyaki chicken with rice. Oh, oh wow. Awesome. Yeah? Come over. That's decent. Yeah, you can come we'll whenever. tonight, then. You can come. <laughs> Teriyaki Tyler, chicken. you're a bit of a cook as well, aren't you? Oh, no, I wouldn't say I'm a bit of a cook. No. Um, my mom's taught me a good, decent, few decent meals that I need in, in the locker for, you know, if anyone comes over, you know, you need to put on a little bit of a, a show. Um, but chicken parm, I can cook a okay. good chicken parm, which is decent, yeah. That's, that's nice. Sounds good. Sounds what about good. you? Me? Dutch boy. I, I've been to school, chef school, so, you know, <laughs> I can chef up something for you. But to be fair, my girlfriend makes a lot. And uh, I'm happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're spoiled and looked after, Justin. Yeah. 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 I am, I am. So how uh, excited are you to get a shot at the Premier League now? Having, having done yeah, very most excited. of the rest of the year. Very excited. It's the most beautiful league I think there is uh, 
and um, in football right now. So it's a very nice league to, to show your quality. So can't wait to, to, to get a lot of games here. And, uh, yeah. yeah, and you were saying, like, of course, that you wanted to come here, you were desperate to have a go at the Premier League, but also you felt really at home in Bristol, all your mates were there. So I think anyone watching this could appreciate that's, that's pretty tough. Like. Yeah, of course, no, it's tough, but I think football always comes first, you know. Um, that's my job as a footballer, you know, that's the main thing on my mind. Um, you know, I was saying before, all my friends, my best friends are still in Bristol and, you know, I love the city, love the club and, you know, grateful for everything they did for me. But I felt at, at this point in my career it was time to time to move on. Um, now in the Premier League and I'm trying my best to get get back fit as, po as soon as possible to, you know, have a go at it. Yeah, so in terms of getting back fit, have you two a bit, bit of a bond built in the gym as you've been rehabbing? Yeah, I have to look after him every day. <laughs> Guy forgets things, you know, where to show up on time and stuff. No, I'm kidding. He's a good professional, especially for a 20-year-old. Um, he's done, obviously, an amazing job. He signed before me, but it's been good getting to know him. Hopefully, we're not in rehab too much longer and we're able to show what we're capable of doing on the pitch and have an impact. So what do we think for this season, Justin? You've been involved. I mean, it's been an OK start, but what yeah. can the team do? I think a lot especially also with the guys coming uh, hopefully soon, as soon as possible. Uh, we have a, a nice team, to be fair. Uh, um, a lot of players also, so the... the what's that, how do you the say depth, it? The depth, yeah, on yeah. the squad. Yeah. Yeah. Competition is good, so yeah. that, that's what brings out the best of everyone, everyone, every day. So I think that's only good if you want to reach a higher level, so that would be nice. I guess part, part of it for all of you is kind of seeing each other sign. I mean, not specifically, but once you see the ambition of a club, you see the spending bit of money, you see other good players coming, that's got to be a, a pull factor, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely, I think, for me, obviously... It's good Justin to be the here. first one, then. <laughs> <laughs> Ola. Uh, <laughs> sir. Um, they knew how much fun you were, Justin. They're yeah. like, right, if Clyde that's there, I'm uh, going. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, sorry, go on. But yeah, you know, the, um, the ambition shown from the club, especially in the summer, you know, with the new owners and, you know, bringing in the new manager uh, and the style of play he has. And obviously the signing as, signings as well with Justin. And obviously I was there before Tyler and then when he got, when he got signed, it was like a bit of a wow factor really, you know, watching him last year in the, in the Premier League. Um, I'm bigging him up too much here. Tyler so. Adams, wow factor. He was a wow factor. He's the reason I signed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, so, like you're saying with those conversations with the owner, what, for all of you, what do you need to s hear, or maybe it's more of a feeling, I don't know, mm -hmm. before you think, yeah, okay, that, this place is right? Yeah. I think you just need to feel like, like people need to feel always loved, you know? It's in, in every factor in life, I think. If mm -hmm. you feel loved, it's good. So, so that's, that's all difficult. It's, it's, Facts. That makes you sense. just feel some love, Facts. and that's all right. So, for you, it was like, these, these guys, like, properly want me, and that's, and that's enough? Yeah, that feels, yeah. yeah. It's all about feeling. Every, everything happens with about your feeling, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, super important. I mean, I think, you know, for, for all of us, I think it's where important parts of our career. Obviously, Alex is a little bit younger. He's going to have his first opportunity at the Premier League, which is going to be huge for him at, at 20 years old. For myself, I had the opportunity last year. For him, also new experience. But we're also in a big developmental stage in our careers. So you want to be able to play games. and. Um, no, nobody can guarantee you games. You have to go out and perform. But um, with the new coach, that alone showed ambition for them to go out and get a, a top-rated coach throughout Europe. Um, and after conversations through him and how he used myself, and I'm sure the same for both of them, um, hopefully we can transpire now and you know come up with a good game plan for the rest of the season. So, and did you have these uh, conversations, or are you uh, are you sitting there thinking, God, he never spoke to me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think what Justin was saying about you know feeling loved, feeling wanted. Um, I really got the impression. That they, that they did want me here. Um, I think with the, uh, the amount of bids you know, that went in and the amount of work they put in behind the scenes to, to get me here, you know, I, I did feel that love. And obviously speaking to the, the manager um, was, a, was a key factor. And again, the ambition shown from the club through, from top to bottom, you know, it's been huge. And yeah, that's definitely one of, one of the main reasons I really wanted to, to push to come here. What was the summer like for you then? Because, I mean, I won't spend too much time going into it, but it looked like you might end up for this game next Sunday uh -huh. on the other side of the divide. Yeah, no, it was definitely a, a hectic transfer window, uh, more or less. Um, I think a lot of it comes down to, you know, me also believing I ended up where I'm supposed to, to end up at this this moment in time. Um, you know, I had a lot of great conversations with, with Bill Foley, the, the owner of Bournemouth, and sort of his ambitions of, of what he sees in the club and where he wants to take it. Um, 
and how he thinks my qualities obviously fit into where he wants to take the club. Um, I think seeing what he's done with the Las Vegas Knights in the NHL also shows that within two years of acquiring that team, he's already become a champion and he has that in his DNA to, to have bring success to a, uh, a franchise. So yeah, for me, a lot of different things could have happened. Um, obviously, I was very fortunate to, to be at Leeds last season and everything that they've done for me. Um, and I'm still very thankful to them. And, you know, now being here, it's just another opportunity at the Premier League. And I'm very thankful for being with a good group of guys, a lot of high quality players, the ambition of the club. I think we can do something special.